Hello again. So it looks like I'm just continuing on with the cyberpunk styled conversions of rooms on the Lego Death Star per the requests and suggestions of oh so many of you. I have not reached any point of kind of creative block yet. I certainly have not gotten bored of this. It's just kind of flowing through you know day after day and so I'm just going to continue with it. Looks like I'll probably just continue on with it until it's done-ish, you know, kind of in done-for-now status. So this big swinging area where Luke does his big swing with with Leia uh, from platform to platform, I figured I would keep as a big swinging area. So it's kind of an underground uh, uh, Cirque du Soleil style of, of uh, performance arts uh, center. And we've got a few performers up there. Let's look at these a little bit more closely. So a couple of these have some pretty extreme looks for human beings. And this one over here, let's see if we can see from the side a little bit better. A little combination of an older poison ivy and uh, a wicked witch. And uh, I don't know where I got the legs from, just drawing from my parts collection. This is mostly storm for the body and the legs there. And then just put a couple other parts together and yeah that's that's it for the performers and then I put in some varying uh, audience members down below it's kind of kind of difficult to to get in there and really see their details without actually removing them you know without actually completely taking them out of the place but hopefully you can at least get the the general idea for their styles and you know kind of needs more light in there and such but Lighting is not something that I've really taken on in my city just yet, but yeah, a little bit of variation for the sake of variation. And I think they look fairly appropriate. And then I just added some neon details. I wanted to keep these little cone parts that, that hang down because they seem like just perfect stocks for light tubes. You know, you can just imagine those being acrylic tubes that are hanging down and there's uh, a central light source in the middle of each. And yeah, this ultimately is pretty straightforward. I, I did a number of experiments with it to try different things, but it is what it is. And I'll probably add a little bit more in the future. Uh, a number of you have asked in the last couple of videos uh, if I would change out walls, uh, the, mentioning that the, the gray looks a little bit boring in the background. And that is not part of the scope of this project at this time to go into the deep core structure of the Death Star, which requires totally dismantling the entire thing to add on or to, to change out uh, colors, uh, these major gray bits that are, that are used all throughout. Where I can, I'll add on, cover some things up, but the, the, main, the main focus here is adding things that do not require a tremendous amount of total disassembly, total destruction of the thing. So all of this occurs down beneath uh, the Cloud Queen's Lair with her supercomputer there and then up above is the next area that I've worked on I am not happy with this just yet. I've started covering it up man covering this stuff up is difficult uh, <laughs> To avoid gaps you wonder why Lego doesn't do it. It's not easy. It's really not easy it Depends upon the the scale, but I tried to cover some up. I tried to keep in uh, some suggestion of lasers they actually have the the two laser two dual laser emitters there but you know last time I mentioned that uh, I would probably be using this for some large advertisement I tried three major different projects of, of building up suggestions of light projected advertisements and I've I've attached one of them here I am definitely not satisfied with it this is not going to last this is not going to be final but it's something and of the the three options that I that I brought basically to completion for each, this was the the one that bugged me the least. So this is this is what's there for now. It it's it's a little bit of a pun. It's supposed to be B Cyber. It's like a a tagline for some company or something. But eh, it's a thing. It's more difficult than I expected to build in this kind of. Uh, this kind of style uh, with all transparent stuff my my selection of pieces isn't as good as I would like it to be for this sort of process but 
there's something there so it it needs to be better eventually it'll be replaced with something better and that goes for these little emitters as well but for now this will just have to do so there's what it looks like for now i may add some other stuff coming across the top here you know there will definitely be some some passes done to add additional more global details and also to get all of this to integrate into the space around it. Keep in mind that this is just one single building out of an entire miniature city layout. So this does not need to have everything in it. It does not need to have, you know, uh, a restaurant and housing and uh, corporate offices. I kind of have one of those already. But, you know, it, it doesn't need everything that a city needs. It's, it's just one single building. So, you know, it's... The, the original idea, the original intent was to create kind of a, a mall of sorts. Uh, I've, I've kind of strayed away from that. It's not all about shopping here, but uh, I've just followed the inspiration for each area individually based on what's already there. And I've kind of enjoyed taking it from, from that perspective, from that angle of, of using what Lego designed and, and what ha has already been placed there as the inspiration for each individual section, just as, as a theme, you know, that is the theme, each area converted into something that's, that's derivative. And I've, I've definitely been satisfied with how that has worked so far. So this is what I've done now. I'm getting closer to being complete. I need to figure out what to do with this small area. I will try to, to cover off or cover up the the gap in there uh, the trash compactor as I said from the start will be staying but I need to do a little bit of conversion just to make it make a little bit more sense for this shape I need to do something for this small space but that will also probably be just an extension of this which will be the the drone storage and then down below there won't be too much done it'll mostly be mess and access from the street once it or street level once it actually gets placed. So some of that will have to be done later. I'm just going to keep working at it, and I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all of your support up to this point. I will talk to you again as soon as I can.